Okay, so you might look at this question and think, oh wow, okay, so we've got an equation. So cos x equals minus 0.75, and all we need to do is put our lines in, inverse cos both sides, and get my calculator. I'm going to inverse cos uh, minus 0.75, and I get 138. 0.590 and you might think oh, okay it's two decimal places 138.59 jobs good right jobs done but it does ask you to find the solutions and it does say between 0 and 360 now the calculator only gives you the first solution it doesn't give you all the solutions similar to where you square root something so square root 9 on the calculator gives you the answer of 3 but we know it's also minus 3. So we need this graph to help us out here. And what we do with this graph is we draw a line across from roughly where uh, 0.75 is. So 0.75 is probably roughly there somewhere. And we read off the um, values. So we know that one already. That one is the one given to us on the calculator, 138.5. Five nine blah blah blah, and we need to find out what the other point is. And the other point is the other point at which our line we've drawn across crosses um, the curve. So it's this point here. Now we use the symmetry of the graph. So cos is symmetrical around 180. So what I'm going to do is work out the distance here. And then I'm just going to add it on to 180 because it's completely symmetrical. And there's other ways of doing it, but that's the way I'm going to do it. Um, so we could also um, take it away from 360. You'll get the same answer. In fact, it's probably easier. Let's do it that way. So 360 take away 138.59. And the calculator gives me the answer of 221.41. And having a look at that, is that roughly right? Well looks pretty good to me. Um, so what I've done there, it doesn't matter which way around you do this, I've just noticed that that length is the same as that distance there. So I've taken it away from 360. Um, as I said, there's multiple ways of doing it. Just use the symmetry of the graph and you might have to draw that graph or just do a quick sketch of that graph because it might not be given to you in the question. So make sure you, un you know what the sine, cos and tan waves look like between 0 and 360.